What's up guys welcome back to part seven of this chassis reinforcement today we're going to be working on buttoning up the car finishing up the rest of these rivets and just generally clean up the inside of the car i'll show you what i was working on yesterday so i spent about three hours sanding all the glue and the seam sealer that was left here i uh, did this row of rivets here that's to the frame underneath the car. Uh, this was really easy to see the spot welds once the uh, all this was down to bare metal. Uh, right here in the doorway. I did this row of rivets all the way up. And I also worked on this row here. This took about five hours total just because it's such an awkward position to drill the ones down here. And then, so today I'm going to be working on the other side, so I'm going to pull out the seat. The only problem is I can't drill these from the top like I did the ones on this side because of the lines, the fuel lines and stuff. Over here, so I'm going to jack up the car, use an extension for the, like the bit, and then come up from the bottom of the car. So I got to pull out the seat and all that stuff first. Alright, so I'm underneath the car. This is the tray with the lines in it. So basically what I'm going to do is pull it over, and that right there is the lip. So I only have like pretty much a little bit of space. So I'll show you the tool that I'm going to use. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to get this tray off. Or I would have probably just taken it off and it would have been a lot easier. So basically but... what I'm going to be using is this drill with this extension. I'll take the extension out if I'm not going to need it. I'm going to use these two sockets. This is the wedge in between the tray and the frame rail to space it out. And you definitely want safety goggles when you have metal falling towards your face. The last clip. I uh, cleaned up all the adhesive and sealer over here and on the section up into where the front seat mounts. Uh, got half the row drilled. I uh, changed it up a little bit from doing it from underneath. I did go underneath and drill like the first hole here, one in the middle and then one up front. And I spaced it out with the sockets like I said. and then. I cut a bit, had it real small, and just went through the top. So none of the lines got hit, so that worked out pretty good. So right now I have this section marked out on the bottom here. I'm going to drill those and rivet all this stuff. And then I'll move on to cleaning this section up here, which is going to be a little bit more difficult than the other side because I have the pedal assembly in the way. You know the steering wheel so i'm not going to have as much room as i had over there and i thought that was a tight fit so we'll see how this goes all right so i'm not sure where i left off because it's been a couple days since the last clip but i did end up cleaning all the seam sealer pretty much all the way up to the front of the seat rail paint this stuff so it wouldn't rust that's why the wiring looms in aluminum foil so it doesn't get spray painted um so right now, I'm working on taking off the rest of this that didn't come off with the dry ice. Um, I did take off the steering column support. Thanks to Aki for making those lightweight videos because I wouldn't have thought of just removing that and throwing two 12 millimeter bolts in here. Seems pretty strong. I might throw a, a couple tacks with the Harbor Freight welder on there. But right now, I'm just gonna continue cleaning this stuff up so I can try to get all the uh, glue and stuff off so to be more like this side over here and then I'll worry about going back and uh, drilling these holes here and finishing this row over here and I'll pretty much be done with that all right so it's been about two and a half three hours since I finished that last clip uh, the seam sealer is definitely gone and all the black tar took forever to get off but I managed to get it done. Threw some paint down on the bare metal so it doesn't rust. So I have the rest of the holes drilled out all down here and right here on that frame rail. So I'm gonna pop some rivets in this.
rest of the rivets are put in. So that's pretty much all the rivets I'm adding to the car at the at this time. I'm still going to do the rest of the door around here once I take the door off. But there's more seams I could have done. Like I could have did the frame rail right down here. But I didn't want to really mess with the gas tank. So maybe that'll be something that's going to get done later on. But that's going to wrap up the chassis reinforcement as far as the rivets. I have some other stuff in mind that I'm going to add to the car pretty soon. So if you have any questions about this process or you're trying to do it yourself and you need materials or sizes or anything, just hit me up in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you and help you out because I've been messing with this for a couple weeks now. Uh, if you have time to do it straight through, like you're off for like a couple days, you could probably do this in about 30 hours if you have all the supplies and materials. But that's going to be it. Next video, I'm going to be uh, reapplying the seam sealer and doing some undercoating on the bottom of the car where the rivets came through. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.